Here are some special events making news around the parish. The St. Charles Community Health Center opened a new facility in Narco, which will provide complete health services for the entire family. I'd like to welcome you all to the dedication of our new Norco facility. The facility is just the beginning of a commitment to proper health care for all East Bank residents. This is part of an overall project that eventually will be a, a large 18,000 approximately square foot facility located a few streets over on Kathy Street here in Norco. This is our temporary site until we have our full site built. It's about uh, providing primary health care to a community and revitalizing health care delivery in a community that uh, has been absent for a little while. Council members and Parish President V.J. St. Pierre were on hand to dedicate this facility. Opening of this new St. Charles Community Health Center location is yet another step St. Charles Parish is taking to improve the quality of life of our citizens. This clinic will allow citizens on the East Bank quicker access to the care they need regardless of their ability to pay. From everything from management of diabetes to routine immunization. This new location will carry out the same level of excellence sir, as excellent services provided by St. Charles Community Health Center in Luling and, and Kennett. Just like to let everyone on the East Bank of St. Charles Parish know that we now have a really great facility open in Norco, able to see you for your primary care, medical needs for you and your children, so your whole entire family is really welcome to visit us and, and make us your uh, patient-centered medical home. The new center is located at 941 First Street in Norco and is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. with a pediatrician on staff full-time. Another dedication celebrated in the parish was the long-awaited opening of the East Regional Library in Destrehan. So I want to welcome you all to the new East Regional Library. Um, we're so happy to have this facility open and available to the people of the parish. Hundreds of friends of the library attended the dedication for the grand tour of this exceptional public space which will provide free services to the parish for many years to come. There are many ways to judge a community. One of those ways is by its libraries. St. Charles Parish can be proud that they have built a library to fill the current and future needs of its citizens. This library, I believe, will serve our community well for many, many years. The entire dedication ceremony will air on Channel 6, Check the parish website for schedule times. And be sure to register your children for the summer reading program beginning June 1st at all the parish branches. The annual Red Cross Tour de Rouge began in Houston and followed the 500 mile route to New Orleans with a special visit in Destrehan where local Red Cross CEO Kay Wilkins joined the team. I am the CEO of Southeast Louisiana Chapter of the American Red Cross and this is a bike tour that began in Houston on Sunday six days ago and will end today in New Orleans. Uh, people are, uh, the riders have each committed uh, and raised over $2,500 for the American Red Cross and this bicycle tour has taken these 45 riders from uh, uh, Houston, Texas, through Beaumont, through down into uh, Lafayette, Abbeville area, down into the Bayou. Uh, they were up in Gonzales last night and they're riding back into uh, St. Charles Parish on their way to the finish. The finish will be downtown New Orleans. The neatest thing about this is the riders have actually taken a path that Katrina, Rita, Gustav, and Ike took in 2005 and 2008 when those hurricanes came ashore. So each night the riders have uh, been able to talk to Red Cross volunteers in each of those chapter areas and uh, hear about the work of the Red Cross. Now that they're donors they really need to know about that work. The Tour de Rouge raises money for the Red Cross whose volunteers work year-round in our community educating the public 
and lending a helping hand when needed. You know, one of the best things about uh, being able to talk to these riders is we, we tell them real life stories about what we're doing every day. You know, we're in the middle of uh, beginning uh, the preparations for hurricane season. So as we approach the fifth anniversary of Katrina, while we're looking back uh, and learning the lessons uh, from Katrina, we also are leaning forward and we're working with people to be prepared every day. Get ready for that hurricane, have that exit strategy. Hopefully we don't have to employ it for a long time. It's also so today's a pretty hot day, so we've got a lot of people that are uh, looking uh, forward to the summer and looking to, uh, for swimming activities. So we're now teaching lifeguards, we're teaching water safety classes, we're out in the community every day helping people be safe. If you would like to participate in the annual Tour de Rouge, visit the website or call the local Red Cross. For more information about all the community events around the parish, log on to stcharlesparish-la.gov.